Okay, welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to do be doing a bit of a follow-up episode uh, to etching the mirror. So, got a number of requests from, uh, especially Dark Alchemist, as to what would happen if I were to etch the back of the mirror rather than the front. So, what I'm going to do is um, show that. So, the mirrors I'm going to be using the same mirrors that I used before, and these are from the ho from Hobby Lobby, and they have like a clay background on the mirror. So. Um, basically we're going to try etching it. I'm going to use roughly the same settings I did uh, for the front of the mirror on this. I'm also going to add some FLIR imaging in too so uh, we can kind of see how that looks like. So let's go ahead and uh, up in the corner I've got uh, I'm also running uh, the laser draw program so I'm going to hop into that uh, align everything and then let's go ahead and cut in over here. Okay, so we've uh, finished the the etch. Let me turn the laser off. There it is. Let's take a quick look. Let's see uh, before I grab it. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. That's not too bad. It's about 90 degrees. Um, infrared thermometer, very interesting tool to have. Before you grab something, you can kind of test the temperature. So uh, handy handy little device. The other thing that, uh, before I show you this, one of the things to note in the FLIR image, um, notice the flashing that took place over in this area. This was the laser beam impacting with the smoke that was being generated because I was actually surprised at the amount of smoke that came off here. Um, I actually turned the air assist on part of the way through because Normally with glass, I don't really worry about it because it really doesn't generate any smoke. But again, going ahead and doing this, it, it, it did. So uh, again, I just want to do a quick touch. And there's what it looks like, guys. So the actually, the, the bigger part came out pretty nice. Uh, actually, actually, I like this a little bit more than... Um, doing the front. Now, it did crack the glass. Well, actually, I think... No, no, it did, cra did crack the glass. Um, I'm going to try this once again and see what happens. But the, you can see the smaller lettering didn't come out. Um, although it did etch here because obviously, uh, you, well, I don't know if you can see. I, I think I got this in frame. So I'll zoom in. It didn't actually burn all the way through on the smaller, but it did on the larger. Actually, that's kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to try one more and then let's see what that looks like. Um, you can see I had a little mishap uh, when I was setting up the um, uh, um, power. Uh, because one of the other things that I had happen is the laser button, the, the, the laser button stuck on and actually burned through my test piece of wood wherever I put it. Oh, I put it over here. So it actually burned through and burned the mirror because the button stuck on. So Again, I can't stress enough safety, safety, safety with these things because uh, you know they do have safety risk issues. So let's go ahead. Let's let's do this again. Now, one of the things this is burned. I'm, I'm not sure if you can you'll be able to see this, but this is burned all the way through. So this is clear on the background. So if you do were to mount this on something, um, it would become dark. But you know what might be cool is to backlight this with an LED or something. That would be really cool. So let's let's try this again with uh, with another mirror. And this time, so I'm going to put a new mirror in here, uh, fresh mirror. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn up the power a little bit uh, because I am u using um, seven. So I'm going to crank this up to probably about ten. I'm going to re-energize the laser.
Okay, so we're back. I'm going to disarm the laser. I want to come back here. I want to check the temperature before I burn myself. Again, that's not too bad, so... Uh, let's double check. It's a little bit warm. And, uh... So this came out a little bit better. Now, one of the things be be aware of is is this is obviously a mirror image because th this image needed to be mirrored when I etched this on because it's going to be backwards. So this is backwards. So um, kind of interesting. Anyways, but I I, I didn't want to go through the hassle of, of reversing and just kind of show the the uh, piece. So now I did up it to to 10 milliamps and the small lettering came out just fine um, so in other words it's pretty cool you can kind of clean off the back here uh, you can see that there's a bunch of like silvering residue and when you clean the back off what you can see is that the the actual it's burned the uh, backing off and it's actually etched the glass just as it did the front now the nice part is this is this is smooth and this this isn't so smooth back here actually this this will kind of cut you a little bit so um, actually that might be the preferred way to go but the thing is is it doesn't have silvering material so it won't be mirrored at all in, in behind this piece so hopefully you guys found this interesting because you guys have been asking for it and hopefully I've gotten this all in frame using a little bit different camera setup this time um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty interesting. So I'll have to experiment more with this, but you can see how it looks like. Now, the one thing, hopefully you did pay attention, again, the smoke in here, how much beam attenuation happens because of smoke. Now, I wasn't running fume extraction on this. I uh, probably should have. I didn't expect um, as much smoke as this produced. I was actually pretty surprised um, at how much smoke. So that was probably bad on my part. I just didn't want to deal with the noise. Anyways, um came out interesting. The other piece is, I have a question. So up in the corner, uh, one of the viewers wrote in, says he has one of these in the instructions that says is you shouldn't etch a mirror. So I'm not quite um, uh, understanding the logic behind it. Now I have two of these in very minimalistic instructions came with both. So um, I, I didn't see anything in there about not etching a mirror and I really don't understand why it would be a problem. I don't want to advise anybody to do anything against the instructions of the machine for safety sake and that kind of stuff. But I'd be interested here in the comments below if you got a laser machine and if it said you shouldn't etch mirrors in it and then also too if you know maybe why you shouldn't etch mirrors I would be interested to hear. Because the absorption of the the beam, the infrared beam is so so long that I'm not seeing how it's a huge reflection issue outside of just a reflection issue in general. So um, let me know in the comments below what you think. So anyways, hopefully you guys found this interesting. Get any questions, hit me up below. Um, don't forget to check out the swag shop up here in the corner. Give it a like and subscribe. See you in the next video, guys. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.